two simps chasing around some chick? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Randa Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, welcome back to Temtem. Oh god, I just miss this game so much, every second I'm off it, I'm like, let's get back into it. Uh, it's not much to look at at the moment, but when mounts and everything are added, what? Dude, I want to be first in line at the mount, ven mount vendor. So we are in the gifted bridges. We're trying to head up here to uh, a place that I can't quite remember what it's called. Look at this dude! He's got an evolved form of that, that thing. Oh man, you make me want to bring that thing back. But alright, we good. We got Squirrel. We're going to see what that evolution looks like. Oh, and those trainers I forgot about. Hey! From the last episode. Good day, sir. Would you care for a Tim Tim battle to pass the time? It's a long way. I'd love to fight you. Mm -mm. We'd love to fight you. Okay, well, let, let's do that then. If, if you'd love to, then I guess I suppose I would also love to as well. Squirrel and Swadloon. Do it. Do it. Squirrel is a little bit weak, in my opinion. I, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting uh, Squirrel to do all the things that I want him to do. And these guys have level 13, or these girls, rather. They have level 13 Temtem. Which, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have some trouble with just a little bit. Although I do have that super effective move, so sweet. And that Toxic Spore, no good. And that's no good. All right. We'll go for the Scritch Scratch and Urush Urushiel. Urushiel. That's what it's called. And I really like that Swadloon has that uh, protective ability. So basically, if you're going to attack me twice in a turn, you can't. Ha ha. All right, we knocked out one of their Thames. And uh, Squirrel recovers, or recovers a little bit of HP, which is nice. And a level. Everybody likes a level, don't they? I don't know if Sand Splatter's going to do much, but we'll try it. And yeah, of course. Of course, that thing that seems to be super effective on everything. Of course, Sand is uh, one-fourth effective. Which is just terrible. That is awful. I'm gonna need to switch both my dudes out. I don't want this. I don't want this to happen. I don't want it to be like this. So we'll switch into Gulai and Bumblebug. Because maybe this thing is flying. Maybe Bumblebug can do like an electric something with it. At least that's my hope. So go ahead. Retreat from the battle. Die another day, I suppose. Although I do have my Tem Essence vial, if it all goes terrible. Luckily, Urishiol, I switched out, so it didn't do much. Crystal Dust hopefully does something good. And it doesn't seem like Electric's going to be super effective, but... At least it's something. At least I buffed that Crystal Dust. Boom! Still not enough to KO. Bang, dude. He's just poisoning everything. Oh, Can you stop? Oh, it also damaged itself due to overexertion. So that's nice, I suppose. We'll do a nibble and a windblade. And that should be the, the fight. Good fight, good night. Even if windblade does half damage. There are some types that are just like objectively better, at least at this point in the game. Like that ground attack does nothing. The the wind attacks, they're pretty terrible too. Not so fortunate after all, hmm? Hmm. Oh. One's like, you know, the butch or something. It's just got a bad attitude. It was your fault. No, it was your fault. Okay. Calm down, children. That's enough out of both of you. I wonder if I should heal. I think probably so. I mean, I bought some bombs. That's what they're there for, right? Shazam. Shazam again. We catching these levels, boy. Are you a trainer? Welcome to Gifted Bridges, dear traveler. Although there's not much bridge left. These are still majestic if you think about it. Bridges? Yes, I know, they might not look like it, but they were once mighty stone bridges. Of course, they've collapsed a long time ago, and what you see nowadays is less impressive. Oh, there's still a proper bridge near Windward Fort. That's where we're going. The fact that it's still standing is a testament to the talent of its builders. Who gifted them? Indeed, they were a magnificent gift a long time ago, and they were built by truly gifted engineers, the best in the Mare Isles. It was present from the people of Omni Omninesia to the citizens of Denise. That was many centuries ago, and many things have changed since, but this route remains passable. No mean feat, if you ask me. Gotta go. 
Safe travels, and watch your step. Some stones are a bit loose. Oh, then we should search the stones. Pull out our item finder. Hey, what you got? I ain't never seen that thing before. And I'll probably never see it again, because I don't know where it comes from, what it evolves into. Um, I suppose I should try and search like all the little nooks and crannies. But really, I just know I'm going to get into more battles. Hey, come here. Look at this Tim Tim. I just can't. I bet you can't beat me if I use this one. One, one way to find out, right? Tim Tim up. That's right, boy. Come on, get it. He's like, I got this one Tim Tim. And it's amazing. It does look pretty cool. It's the evolved form of that uh, floofy thing. I can't remember the name of any of these freaking things. Whiplump. I like the name. Hello, my name is Whiplump. I like you. Let's do some tenderness. Show it some tenderness. Ice cubes. Oh my goodness. And it's level 15. Hopefully we're going to lower its attack enough that it won't KO Squirrel next turn. Fingers crossed. Uh, is Sand Splatter going to be useless like usual? Probably so. And we'll go Orishio. Orishio! More ice cubes. Dang, oh. I could probably just like uh, spam bombs and wear this thing's salmon out. Yeah, as usual, Sand Splatter does nothing and uh, Yuri Shield does super effective damage. So let's give Squirrel a heal and we'll go Yuri Shield again. That will do just fine. He's probably gonna use Ice Cubes. Oh, he brings it to the other dude, but it's only uh, half damage. So ha ha, ha ha ha. Held Anger. I kinda wanna use it, but I don't think it's that good of a move. I mean, it's powerful, but it moves last. You have to hold your anger before you can unleash it. And luckily, Squirrel does get the kill. Hooray! And some extra uh, HP. How'd you do that? I thought this Temtem was invincible. Nah, bruh. That's not how it goes. None, no Temtem is invincible. You have to match your types, which I don't know how to do yet. I should have used Temtem I was more familiar with. It's all about knowing how to use them. Yeah, spam ice cubes. That's a good strategy. I like your strategy, kid. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, another Paharo. I'm beginning to hate these things. I'm going to release my own Paharo out of spite. Flee. Fails both attempts. You didn't even try. You didn't even try, did you? Okay, got it this time. I should probably fight just to, like, get some experience and level up and stuff, but th that's just boring. I want some trainer battles. I want to make some money. Hi, I'm not in mood for chat, but I could use a fight. Let's rumble. Oh, yes, bro. Let's rumble, bro. Here we go, man. Let's... Oh, it's a woman. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe she does talk like this. Smoke a lot of cigarette. You don't know. Nobody knows about this. All right, we're going to go for the Kalazoo first. And just complete offensive power. I don't bother with them stat debuffs or whatever. Hydrologist? Yes, yes, of course. Both my dudes are taking quite a little bit of damage, but I suppose that's okay. We're gonna KO one right now. Oops, no we're not. Tail strike. Wham! All right, that worked out well enough and get that HP back really that's the main reason to use squirrel is because he's constantly healing himself Oh, and she has more temtem. Here comes a pick a pick. Oh fart Who saw that one coming? Sand splatter as usual is not gonna do anything So we'll go for the scratch I, I probably should switch but I'm not going to Bamboozle? That's okay. Nobody's trying to attack you, Piggy Pick. And I know that's what Bamboozle does because I caught a Piggy Pick. Hooray! Now I can analyze their moves because I have one of my own. Maha! Alright, let's do the Held Anger. And we'll see how it works. Scratch? Okay. I thought he was going to go for Swadloon. He did not. Failed due to the effects of Bamboozle. Held Anger did not fail. That is really sweet. I'm liking that a lot. 
I hope he doesn't bamboozle me again. Quit bamboozling me. All right, sweet. Good job. And that was quite a fight. Whoa, let me catch my breath. Yeah, give me your pan sons. Give me all your pan sons. Oh, what do you have to say after the fight? I shouldn't be mean. I just walk away. Oh, squirrel, I love you too, buddy. That was a pretty good fight, actually. I'm intrigued. Who are you? I'm a tamer. Huh, <laughs> tell me something I didn't know. I wouldn't have lost against just a random amateur. You obviously know your stuff. Have a safe trip, wherever you're heading. Yep, sure enough. I'll get to wherever I'm heading eventually. <laughs> Thanks for the money, though. I appreciate that. Here's a couple of Tataroos. Uh, I don't really need them, except maybe for the experience, but yeah, I'll, I'll grind off camera if we decide that we really need to grind. So far, it's been like, you know, one strong Temtem or a couple of weaker Temtem. Nothing we can't overcome. It's a great time for some Temtem sparring. No introductions? Sorry, I'm Valeria. I'm Dayton Does. Pleasure to meet you, Dayton Does. Let's get down to business. I bet it's gonna be a girl again, isn't it? Yep, sure enough. I always do the boy, vo boy voices for the girls. I don't understand what's going on. I don't know anything anymore. Couple level 13s. Nothing we can't overcome, I am sure. Sand splatter, does it suck? I guess we'll find out. Double up on that side pat. Ooh, and there's the wind burst. Swadloon's down. And I did get a bit of a scavenger boost even from my own teammate fading. So I think that's cool. It's at least a little bit useful. Unfortunately, Sand Splatter is just not. It is extremely unuseful. Bumblebug's level 11, so we'll get him in there. And also, I'm pretty sure that that, um, that nasty, nasty DC beam is going to do something against both this water-looking Pokemon and also the, the flying-looking one. Ooh, Squirrel takes a big hit. That is not good. And Psypat's raging! Everybody look out! Attack up, defense down. Great. Bumblebug's faster anyways. So, um... Let's go for the scratch. I think my dude's gonna faint, but hopefully we can get the KO on that Psypat first. So we can reap some of the EXP. Oh, and also Scavenger. Didn't quite live. I thought I was gonna live because of the Scavenger HP boost, but it didn't happen. That's all right. Oh, and I didn't get the experience because I fainted on the same turn. That's sad. Oh well. Gulai, go do a thing. Crystal Dust. DC Beam. And that thing is out of stamina, so it's gonna either faint itself this turn, or faint due to my crystal dust. Yeah, it didn't quite have enough gas to get through. But they did rest it up a little bit, so... I think I'm still faster. Probably get the KO. Pop, pop. Easy day. Easy day! I don't really want to use my time essence quite yet. You got me there. Well played. See, even after I find out it's a girl, I still have to do the same voice, because that's what we started with. Good fight. Good fight. Good night. Alright, alright. I wish you could battle other tamers, dude. That would be so great. Um, who should I put in front? Probably my boy. My little boy, Gulai. And Bumblebug. Or Ebon. Or Itlog. I guess Ebon. These are my two dudes, my main boys, my first two. And we're gonna get some more fight, Giovanna's suitor. Hey, I've seen you talking to Giovanna. I've seen you talking to Giovanna too. Of course, you fool, you're right by my side. Shut up, you just said we're not on speaking terms. I gotta go. Of course we aren't, you're just trying to steal Giovanna from me. Ridiculous, as if Giovanna would give you the time of day. I have places to be. No, wait, 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 what were you telling her? No, what was she telling you? That's irrelevant, you fool. That's foolish, you irrelevant. <laughs> Enough. Temtem -tem up. So that's how you want to play it. Yeah, is that the play? Eh, Temtem -tem up. God, you think you think I have time for this? To sit here and 
listen to you two simps chasing around some chick? I ain't about it, dude. I ain't got time. I ain't got the time, I ain't got the inclination, alright? Feather Gatling. Oh, it's just so good. I also want to do Shrill Boys, so we're not going to go Feather Gatling quite yet. Uh, we'll just peck. We'll just peck. They're only level 8s, but they do have 4 Temtem on their team, so... I don't know. I guess we'll just bash the one on the right first. Into the ground. See how it goes. Crystal Dust. It's good for everything. It's good for everything. Eurecio doesn't do much. Good. I must say, quite good. And we're gonna do the shrill voice now. I love it. Ooh, buddy. That's tasty. And this thing is upping its defense and bringing attack down. And just being a general nuisance. But that's okay. Because it'll be dead soon. 2Y. Oh, I have one of those. That's Ebon. But an enemy Ebon. So we must destroy him. Oh, fart. I gotta rest. Or I could do Windblade. No, I think the good idea is to rest here. Just just take five and then we can Shrill Voice again later. Okay? Bop, bop, bop. I should have KO'd the, the bug thing. Oh, well. It's not doing any damage. It's just crippling my, my Temtem. That's okay, right? Everything's okay here. Eba, get some rest. Gulai, have a balm. Why not? And then Shrill Voice. Go for the double KO. Yeah! Yeet, yeet! Yee. Oh, and I got it too. Love it. You love to see it. You love to see it. Fantastic. Ah, such a good Temtem. My goodness. Now he's like, oh, go, my last, my last 2Y. It's too late. Too late! And then you say, why? And then you say, 2Y. It's not even a good joke. I don't even know what's going on. Gulai damaged itself. Oh, fart. I should watch that. Here, you rest. You KO with Peck. Yum! There you go. I got five levels on you. You stood no chance. How could you lose? How could you? I mean, yeah, how could I lose? <laughs> I kind of like him. The dialogue in this game is better than Pokemon, I'll say that. I lost to this guy, not you, not to you, so I'm going to go talk to Giovanna. No, you won't, because I'll go first. Whatever, dude. Simps, like I said. Who even cares? Who even cares? Scent reduces untamed encounters. Not prevents, reduces. Make a note. Oh, Gulai, you're my buddy. You're my buddy, aren't you, buddy? Hey, what you got there? A grown-up uh, version of Bumblebug? It's pretty cool looking. Hey, yo! If you're looking for a fight, just carry on. I'm enjoying the sunshine. Let's fight! As I said, I'm not into Temtem fighting. Why not? I have my reasons. Okay. Well... I guess not everybody has to fight. It, they give you more of a choice. In uh, Pokemon, they're like, you have to fight. In Temtem, they're like, do you want to? Do you have time? Sorry, I'm very busy. Got flowers to pick. No time to chat. Picking flowers? Yeah, that's my job. It's no joke. Not just any bunch of random flowers, but the best violence in Lavender. Violets. I think I said violence. <laughs> my boss is very picky about which ones to use for the creams and perfumes. Are you looking for Temtem? Of course not. Do I look like I can spend all day sauntering around catching cute little bugs? I'm working. I leave you to it then. Yeah. Not very pleasing. You don't have a very pleasing personality. How about you, flower picker? Julia. Giulia. It's Robert Goulet's daughter. Hello, traveler. Who are you? I'm an herbalist and parfumier. I create natural fragrances from flowers and oils. What are you doing here? Picking lavender for my essential oils and bath salts. Well, not for those. Why not for salts? Well, because I'm all out of salt. I was supposed to get a new batch of sea salt from my regular supplier in Turquesa, but I hear the fairy's late. At this rate, I'll have to find another use for all the lavender I'm picking. I can bring the salt. 
Oh, would you? Thank you. If you could find a way to get to Turquesa and bring me some sea salt from Lorenzo's Salt Works, that would really save the day. I pick up all these friggin' quests. I really should, like, keep better track of them. What do I, what do I press to check out the quests? Oh, Q to emote. That's a thing. Um, oh, here we are. Quest? No. I don't really know. Hmm. Well, I know I'm supposed to bring some toddler a pig a pick. So I should probably get on that. Because I have caught a piggy pick now. So I think this is about the point where we use our Tem Essence vial. Oh no, we're still good. We still got some gas in the tank. We'll be alright. Hey, buddy. Oh, another posh one. Are you with the Darburian woman? No. Oh, thank goodness. These tourists are getting ruder and ruder by the day. Say, let's have a little Tem Tem fight. I need to blow off some steam. Wow, you've got a posh accent. Posh accent. <laughs> oh, damn it. I lose it. I just start losing it. Wow, it's a side pat. I really want one. It's super cute. I have too many normal Temtem. I need a side pat, don't you see? Feather Gatling. Yeah, just do it. Show me how strong that is. With a buffed up crystal dust? Oh, yeah. We can KO this thing in one turn. Or not. <laughs> Woo wee! He's a tough one. My, you're a strong one. Umbrella did pretty good, but uh, not quite enough, I don't think. So, I don't know. Shrill voice is gonna damage me a little bit. We'll go for wind blade. See how that do. Oh, we're not gonna KO it this turn either. But we'll get it close. And that's all I can really ask. Oh, he's raging. Let's fucking rage! Sweat. Sweat, sweat. Okay. Now, Crystal Dust? Grass Blade. I guess Grass Blade. I don't really got time for all that. Packing Grass Blade, and, and you're KO'd. Oh my god, he's faster. I thought Gulai was faster than this thing. It was the turn before. Maybe it's a speed tie. They settle the speed tie the same way they do in Pokemon, where it's just like a coin flip. Saipat was luckier that time. Cool. Levels. Great. Just what I need to brighten my day. Oof. F. Big F in the chat, guys. <laughs> I've tried to calm down. Please leave me alone. Well, I'm sorry that that happened to you, you know? You asked for this. I didn't I didn't deliver this. You you asked for it. Hey bruh. No, we don't have tea. What? Tell your mistress we're not her servants and no, we don't have tea. I'm not who you think I am. I don't care who you are. I don't care who she is, and I'm gonna show you who I am. My goodness, there's many aggrieved locals on this path. Something is afoot, I must say. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> Did you see it? Barnshee. It's a banshee, but but a bird also. As well. Alright, shall we wind blade? I suppose so. We're gonna double team this crystal because it's low level. Sorry, gotta do it. No move for you. No soup for you. I'm scared of this Barnshee, though. Oh, it only does half damage to Eat Log because of his ability. Ha ha! He's like, I also have a Paharo. Yeah, it's it's level 6. I don't think it's going to do much. I could have probably Hypnosis the, the Barnshee, but... No need. No need. We're going to get this thing done. Oh, there's a peck. How about Shrill Voice? Half damage. I don't like it. I don't trust it. Okay. We're all going for Peck now. Just KO that thing. No more no more cheapy Peck... Cheap shot Pecks. Cheapy Peck shots? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, this thing seems kind of tough. 
I'm not really sure what to do because it seems to resist all of my windy attacks. And I basically only have two birds out here, so... I, 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 I just don't know. Eat Lug goes for Windblade. I guess we can whittle this thing down, eventually. Damage itself due to overexertion. That's what I'm talking about. So now it has to rest next turn. And I'll take this opportunity to go for the peck. And I was going to go for Feather Gatling, but I guess that's not going to work. Windblade? It seems to resist everything, so I don't know. I just don't know. All right, Barnshi, get some rest. Yeah, all right, uh, my dudes, get some rest. Oh, Ebon, you're not looking too good. It damaged itself again, so that's good. We'll KO it next turn. Excellent work. Fantastically done. Let. Hooray! What a nasty thing. I need to catch one so I can see what its ability is. Wait, you tempt him. That battle style. You're not. You're not one of them. No, I. I just said that. I told you that. I guess you weren't one of them lackeys after all. Apologies, friend. Who? Who do you mean? This woman. She passed through a while ago with a whole retinue of servants. She treated us like we were her lackeys. Do this. Do that. Fetch me tea. We're still seething. Anyways, this has nothing to do with you. Sorry, I shouldn't have taken out on you. Enjoy your day. Aww. I appreciate that. Uh, a nice apology. He's like, yeah, at first I wanted to kick your ass. But now I realize you're not even with them. Now that I had a moment. A moment to breathe. Alright, I see a, a station down there. So I am going to burn my Tem Essence. Because I want to level up my baby boys. I think that's the thing to do. So let's swap it. Swip it and swap it. And pop it and pop it. Cool. Hey, friends. Please don't get upset. We have nothing to do with that lady. Yeah, listen to her. We're just tourists. We know nothing of the local customs and never meant to offend. What's going on? Everyone keeps taking us for someone else. Apparently, a lady passed through here recently and managed to upset everyone, and now all the locals think we're part of her entourage. They're all throwing their temtem -tem at us, and we haven't done anything. We're just back from visiting the Windward Fort, and always want us to make it back to the hotel in Aerosol and have a hot bath. Uh, I don't like tourists anyways. Fight! No! It's a misunderstanding! Too late. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Too late for you! Oh my god, he's got the giant fish. It scares the crap out of me. Well, Ebon's still in the front. I guess I didn't do the, the switching thing correctly. Okay, whatever. Feather Gatling. Do it. Rushiol. How about this? Oh, it does nothing. Cool. Awesome. Squirrel is getting his uh, bee hole pushed in just a little bit. I can't condone this. Let's do the peck. Bam. And then get the KO. Oh no. Here comes the debuff. Oh good. It's on Ebon who I'm going to switch out anyways. Ho oh, ho! Oh! They got faux Tim Tims. But that's all right. I'm ready for them. And uh, Ebon's about to level again. He's the big boy of the team. All I can really do is uh, scratch with Squirrel, because I know that sand attack is just, it does nothing. It does nothing. Let's bring in Bumblebug. Bumblebug's gonna be good for that giant fishy. I'll zap him. I'll turn him into to baked tuna fish. This baked tuna thing sounds disgusting. I probably should have more culinary knowledge, but unless it's eggs or steak or hot dogs, I don't know nothing about it. I can also cook rice. I've been in the Philippines for four years and now I can cook rice. So I'm sure you'll be pretty excited to hear that. Here comes... Yeah, double damage. That actually does really, really good. Squirrel, please live. Here comes Held Anger. So angry! Oh, not quite enough to KO, though. Fart. At least uh, that Kaku didn't poison my dude that has low health. Um, 
I suppose, Tail Strike. We'll just focus everything on this. Oh, that's not going to be effective. I think Kale, Tail Strike's going to KO anyways, right? I don't know. We'll see. Nope. At least it still worked. <laughs> it was a close call. But everything works out. Alright. So, how's, uh... Oh, Wind Burst? Yes, yes, of course. It's better than Wind Blade, isn't it? I guess I just replaced it. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. This is terrible. <laughs> uh, oh, fart! I should really pay more attention to things. All right, let's get the KO there. Give me my levels, dude. All I want is my levels. A little bit of HP from Scavenger. Always a good thing. And Water Blade goes to the uh, higher health Temtem. So good. We're doing we're doing big things today. This should KO, I think. DC beam. Bleh. It's a pretty cool squid thing, but I think it's pretty fragile. And both of my babies get a level up. Fantastic. Delightful duel of skills indeed. Thank you very much for the match. You're quite welcome, disgusting tourists. <laughs> Just kidding. We should be off. Yes, just a second. I'll take another selfie. Yes, yeah, see, see, see? This is why I had to bring the pain. Oh. Hopefully, we learn something today, but probably not. Okay, so basically, oh no, we've got level 12s here. Eat Log and Swadloon. Sweet. Alright, so we'll get this guy in the next episode. I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you. Write it down. And uh, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. I really am enjoying Temtem. I know we've got a long way to go. It is an MMO. It's a little bit grindy, but I hope that you guys will stick with me through the journey. I appreciate that a whole heck of a lot. Like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. As I said, hit that notification bell. That's always appreciated. There's also links in the description, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, if you want to hit me up there. Big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on Patreon currently. Anyways, friends, this has been Tem Tem. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.